Hey guys, Vegas Romaniac. I have a unique opportunity to show you something very interesting about the oil filters on the motorcycle. So I have a little container over here with gasoline and as you can see it's as clear as it gets. I just poured it out of a, a tank right now uh, in my garage. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this oil filter out, which in my case is one of those stainless steel oil filter. And once I'm going to take it out, I'm going to dip it into this gas and I'm going to show you all the things that usually the oil filter captures but you don't see because people put the replaceable ones and they just throw them away. So a lot of people don't really know what this oil filter really does for the engine. We're going to look to see how much clutch and how many metal shavings are inside here in this uh, oil filter which is meant to capture all those particles and don't let them travel through the engine and create other kind of problems and friction and so on. So, so I'm going to not even kind of edit this video. I'm just going to slide the camera on the tripod. There it is. Sorry about the noise. And I'm just about to take the last bolt for the oil filter out. There it is. And uh, I have a little metal bracket over here that I constructed myself. That's a different video that I posted a while ago. So this is to hold on to something uh, that was keep coming out. So this is the uh, stainless steel oil filter that I was telling you about. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip it into this uh, gasoline. So it's in the gasoline right now. I'm not sure if I'm ready for this very well. Sorry about the camera positioning. Just want to make it a complete video. Uh, so here's the oil filter. And I am basically cleaning it right now. So what I do is when you put it in the gasoline, you could clean it with, with car cleaner or other things, but I like to use gasoline just to just as a proof of concept because this is this is a washer, not supposed to go in there, but anyway, it's a rubber thing. Rubber should not go in there, that's my bad, but you know, nothing really, no harm done. But here's the, um, this is the stainless steel, reusable, and what I do is I just let it here soak a little bit, take all the oils out, and if you already look, see how dirty the, the oil is, the, the gasoline is, but I'm going to show you even more. My camera is going to smell like gasoline after I'm done with this, that's for sure. Let me put it back in here and take the camera and just show you all the deposits at the bottom of the oil. So it definitely changed. And these are all the deposits. As you can see, there's little specks over there. I hope you can see them really, really well. Those are all bits of clutch and uh, bits of metal and stuff that came off the gearbox and other things that the... Um, you know, the oil captured and the oil filter captured from the oil so it didn't let uh, move all over the engine. So this is after about 500 miles. Usually I only clean it about every thousand miles but today for you guys I took it out and just wanted to show you this. I hope the camera captures that but they're just very very fine particles all over the oil. Just little bits of metal and pieces and stuff that uh, Otherwise, would have just traveled through the engine and caused nothing but problems. So, uh, that is the job of an oil filter. That's that's his job, and that's why I like these stainless steel ones because they're you pay twenty dollars for them. I bought mine from Amazon, about twenty dollars. I put a put a link in the video description. See if I could find uh, you a link for it. Free shipping to my house. But I've cleaned it in gasoline so many times, and it doesn't have any any issues whatsoever. Um, and it cleans really, really well. So it cleans so well. And then I put it back into the motorcycle and basically one oil filter will last you forever instead of spending six or seven dollars for those paper ones, which they say they're not even as accurate as far as capturing stuff. So you just don't want the big pieces to flow uh, around. And this works really, really well. Also, I'm gonna use a little bit of an air compressed air uh, and just blow it off um, to see if there's any bigger pieces that are here and the uh, gasoline never really took them out. So I'm going to let it soak over here for a little bit. Uh, it is glued together but this glue is resistant for gasoline so it never really came off. This oil filter has maybe 10,000 miles on it and it looks like nothing basically happened. It's like brand new like when I took it out of the box. So I'm very very happy with this uh, oil filter and uh, the easiest test for it uh, to make sure that it works is if you uh, lift it upside down and you pour oil into that hole if it's clogged 
then the, the oil will not travel through. But as you can see right now, gasoline very easily goes through. But what I do is I test it out from time to time. Just put a little bit of oil over there and see if it comes out. Because uh, if it's clogged, it will not. But this never really clogged. Once you clean them with gasoline, all that stuff comes off and the oil filter just works really, really well. This engine never had any problems. 15,000 miles and it's spotless. Works really, really well. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, sorry about the video quality. I might have uh, shaked the camera and moved the camera around and maybe not my best video. But as far as uh, informational, I think it's a good video as far as like really seeing what happens in your engine when you actually ride your motorcycle hard. Thanks for watching. Vigs Romaniac out.